You're now listening to Live More Abundantly with Philip Blackett. Hey, hey everyone, this is Philip Blackett, and I just got one question for you. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Can you hear me now? Boy, boy, I'm I'm just so excited right now. Um, basically, this is the first time I'm doing this podcast with my brand new microphone. That's right. When I got back home from work not too long ago, I saw this huge package from Amazon. And if you haven't seen my vlog earlier today, um, it basically said what was in the box. But just in case if you haven't seen it yet, I'll go and explain it to you real quick. So I had this big box and I knew what it was because I already had ordered and I hadn't made an order outside of this order before. Well, not recently, right? So I knew what it was. So when I opened up the package, all I saw were two things, the exact two things that I ordered. And what were those two things? It was a state-of-the-art microphone and a pop filter basically um the reason why i did it was because obviously this podcast challenge i'm on it i'm taking it very seriously i originally was doing it 90 days and at this point now that i got this microphone and pop filter um i take it you can hear me a lot clearer now a lot better now so and i actually can hear myself at the same time so it's actually kind of cool is that i feel like i all the dreams of wanting to be in a recording studio like the notorious B.I.G. and, you know, P. Diddy and that sort of thing is all of a sudden coming to reality because I can now do this from my own desk at home. So essentially, here it is. It's the first show, the first premiere, or should I say the only premiere for that matter, of the microphone, of my new microphone for the show Live More Abundantly with Philip Blackett. So I'm just really, really excited right now, and I'm just ready to get right into it today. But before we get into it real quick, I just want to let you know, station identification, this show is brought to you by www.everydaygetmoney.com If you're looking for a way to make money online so you can be able to live more abundantly, reach your full potential, and pay it forward to others, and be able to do cool podcasts like this, uh, whether for fun or to inspire people to realize their full potential, work with me directly and go to www.everydaygetmoney.com so here's the whole show right now for the episode. I really wanted to kind of focus this on a favorite song of mine, actually, uh, from a guy up from 8 Mile. And maybe that might tell you what song or rapper I'm talking about. But basically, we're talking about the lyrics of Lose Yourself from Eminem. And I'm just going to read just a couple of lyrics here. And I'm going to explain why am I focusing tonight's episode on these lyrics and how it will be helpful for you to live more abundantly. Um, if you've never seen the movie 8 Mile, it's one of my favorites, honestly. It's, it's basically about the underdog. Um, the people that most other people don't really think can actually make it. They actually kind of say, you know what? They already got a lost cause. I'm not really going to put too much in them. I'm not going to bet on them because really um, they don't have much going for them in that sense. And I'd rather find somebody who really has it going for them in that sense. Um, and Eminem kind of played himself in this movie where he basically was making his way up the rap tournament and whatnot. And it was kind of like the start of his own rap career or whatnot. So essentially... The theme song of the movie was Lose Yourself. And one, like, like I said before, I just want to really just kind of share just a tidbit of the lyrics, at least the ones I can say that are not explicitly um, not right to say it in the podcast, right? But I'll just say the clean version of this. But basically, it's just a hook where it just says, look, if you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted, one moment, would you capture it or just let it slip? 
Actually, let's let's do that with a little bit of uh, sound effects as well. Let, let's try it. Let's try emphasize here. Look, if you had one shot or one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted in one moment, would you capture it? Or just let it slip. Yo. <laughs> and then Eminem gets into his song here. But what I really wanted to focus on is just those lyrics, right? Let, let's break it down for a second, right? One shot, one opportunity. Well, um, tonight I actually had my one shot, one opportunity. Um, a friend of mine, um, his name is Robert, gave me a one shot, one opportunity to get on this hangout. He had a hangout talking about... Uh, one of the products that my online business markets um, called the Inner Circle. Now, beforehand, I'd never been on the Google Hangout since being in this online business before outside of just watching it. Now, this was the opportunity to actually share my own perspective, um, be able to put a face to names for a lot of people and really kind of put myself out there um, for the all the viewers that were looking at this Hangout. So it, a lot of times, you know, anytime you get that sort of opportunity, people usually go one of two ways, right? You got people who kind of hesitate towards such an opportunity that they're, they're frightened they're hesitant they're afraid they're just like you know what i don't think that's for me i don't really want to do it um i'm just not ready um i'm getting ready to get ready um just hit me back in like five minutes let me think about it that sort of thing right then you got the other group of people that are looking for this they're hungry for it they're ready to let loose they're ready to be bold they're ready to share their story um, with everyone out there because they've been preparing for this since day one and I like to say I was in part of the first group because honestly here's the thing because we have one shot we'll just call it life for that matter um, that pretty much is your opportunity every day you have you have that one shot because you don't know this could be my very last day on earth but so you know what I'm going to take that opportunity to seize everything I ever wanted because in that one moment I can capture it or I could just let it slip. You see, part of the thing is is that a lot of people a lot of people don't take these opportunities very seriously or they're not ready for it in that sense for whatever reason. Um, but it's just kind of one of those things that no matter who it is, um, no matter what is involving, you can't take any opportunity for granted because it's not a given that you'll have another opportunity going forward. You know, sometimes I think, you know, with me working my online business part time and me working in corporate America, I had to kind of understand that up to this point, I've gotten to where I've gotten because I've taken advantage of the opportunity at hand. Right. L let me repeat that for a second. I got to where I'm at. Because I've taken advantage of every opportunity at hand, whether it's a small pot project, something that people didn't really take too mind to, some pe something that people might have thought like, oh, this is just some little stuff. Let's let the intern take care of it. Let's let the vendor take care of it. Let's let the first year take care of it. It's not a big deal. It's not going to really do a huge ordeal in that sort of sense. But I just kind of looked at this as this is my one shot. This is my one opportunity. If I don't get this one right, I probably won't get another opportunity. I probably won't get another project. I won't have another shot at taking things up to the next level. And what I basically did was just I hustled. I did my very best what I could. If I didn't know anything or if I didn't know something, I was eager to ask. I, I had no ego in that sense. Um, I did whatever it took to be the very best I could be at that one opportunity. And from that other opportunities came about because I was doing well with that opportunity and then more opportunities come around and more shots came around and I just took care of every one of them the best way I could and take take it to the next level now the reason why I'm asking that I'm saying that is because I want to ask that to you are you taking advantage of every opportunity that you have because like I said before it's not a given that you'll have that shot tomorrow it's not a given that you'll have another opportunity next week. So in some sense, you have to look at everything as if it may be your very last shot. It may be your very last opportunity. It may be your very last day. Now, what would you do if you knew or if you thought 
this was your last shot. If this was your last shot at your marriage, if this was your last shot at your class in school, if this was your last shot at the job, if this was your last shot being an entrepreneur before you hang it up and just say, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. Right. I think we were all to would take things a little more seriously and we would have this hunger for ourselves because it really gets back to being clear with your purpose, being clear with why you're doing what you're doing in the first place. There's no time for lollygag and there's no time for just kind of, you know, messing around or just playing or just testing the waters or whatnot. This is life. You know, and whatever you're doing right now, understand that you've been given the opportunity, you've been blessed with the opportunity to do something with it, whatever it is. And you have to look at it in the sense where I have the opportunity, me, myself, and I, I have the opportunity to make something great out of this. Um, whether it's a job, a business, you know, working with your family, or just life in general, you have to look at this in a sense where in any one shot you've been given, you have to go on, go all out or not at all, because at the same time, it's just like you have to understand there's plenty of people just to be grateful for a second. Just understand there's probably plenty of people that would love to be in your position right now, regardless of your situation right now. I can probably think of a number of people around the world that have, probably have it worse than you. So in some sense, it's almost in a sense like, what am I going to do to make the most out of this? And kind of thinking about this, I actually thought, think back to a video that I saw from a friend of mine and one of my team members, Joshua. He sh basically shared this story um, that I think came on ESPN, like Sports Center, one of my favorite shows. But basically, it was kind of like a true life story about a guy that didn't have any arms. And he works at this NASCAR. I'm just kind of paraphrasing the best of my ability, but he works at NASCAR um, helping fix cars. Now, think about it, right? Like, you think about it with your car, you drive every day and that sort of thing where what do you do with your arms with that car? Think about it. Okay, you have to use your arms to drive, of course. You have to use your arms to open the door. Use your arms to open the gas tank and put the, ga and put the gas in the car. How are you going to roll down the windows? How are you going to avoid oncoming traffic? How are you going to shift gears? How are you going to like check the oil? Like all these things that we sometimes take for granted that we have with our arms and our hands. This this guy has no arms, no hands at all. But yet he still takes his one shot to work at NASCAR to be able to be with the top race drivers in, in the country. To be able to work on their cars and be able to prepare them so they can be the best that they can be. And he takes full advantage of it. Like it was showing on the video where the guy was just, you know, when he was growing up, he actually rode a bike with no arms. Like they did something with the handlebars where it had to kind of come to your shoulders or whatnot. But you kind of think about it in a sense like the guy was born with no arms. Like how do you like think about that? Like how would your life be if you woke up tomorrow with no arms? Like how would you brush your teeth? How would you feed yourself? How would you put on your shirt or your coat in that sense? I mean, a lot of people would kind of say, you know what? Life isn't worth living if I'm going to have no arms. You know what? I really can't afford to go after what I really want to go after because I can't even pick up a piece of paper. I can't even pick up the phone to call somebody. I can't even type online to, you know, chat with somebody on Facebook, you know? But this guy right here, like he was on the computer typing with his feet, his feet, like his toes, like on the keyboard. Like, first of all, I wouldn't even want to touch the keyboard at that point because I'm sure it's not smelling any zesty, fresh, zestfully clean for that matter as well. But ne never mind that sense. Just the fact that he best utilized what he had, right? Just because he didn't have any arms doesn't mean that he can't use his head. Just because he didn't have his arms doesn't mean he can't walk. Just because he doesn't have his arms, he can't use his feet a little more creatively than we take for granted to type, to you know, drive, and, and, and all that stuff. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you, my friends, is that, like I said before, it's just like whatever your situation is, there's more than likely somebody who has it worse. 
But you know what the other thing about it is? Those people have it worse. A lot of the times, they're more creative in how they get what they want because they're just not going to quit. They're that persistent. They're that persevering where they say, you know what? I may not have arms, but I promise you this. I'm going to be on NASCAR. I'm going to be fixing cars. I'm going to be living my dream. I'm going to fulfill my purpose. I'm going to live more abundantly regardless of what people have to say, regardless of what people may judge me on. You have to have that same attitude regardless. And it's one of those type of stories that whenever I see it or I think about it, I look at my arms and my hands and I say, you know what? Thank God. Thank God I have some arms and hands. But then again, the next thought in my mind is, what is my excuse? Like, I don't have an excuse at this point, right? And neither do you when you think about it, because the whole sense is that we have to make best use of what we have, whether it's little or much. There's no judgment on that. There's no sympathy if you don't have much, because oftentimes it's the most creative people. It's the people that want it bad enough. It's the people that are willing to do whatever it takes, that take whatever little they have and multiply that to multiple, multiple forms of it to be able to get what they want. So it's one of those things that's just like, look, you know, sometimes you just got to lose yourself in the process. You just got to lose yourself in, in, in the whole pathway that you're on and say, you know what? I don't care what it takes. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care what it requires. I don't care what I have to sacrifice. I understand that I have this one shot right here. This one shot to be successful in what I'm doing. This one shot to grow into the person I'm supposed to be. This one shot to live a more abundant life so I don't have to live a life like everyone else, like 97% of the people on this planet. You have that one shot, whatever it is. So sometimes you just kind of have to look in the mirror and say, you know what? What is my excuse? I've been given life. I can breathe. I can function. I can do some things that often other people can't have. I have a place to stay, which is probably more than what a good portion of the billions of people in the world can say. As far as those who are sleeping on a dirt floor, you might be doing just great. You might be the like just kind of like you were living in the Beverly Hills and compared to people like in sub-Saharan Africa, for example, who may not have a place to sleep. Or at least a place, you know, as far as shelter and that sort of thing. If you're eating, if, if you got fresh water, um, if you have school, if you have a car to drive, um, just if you have a computer, um, if you have Internet, a cell phone, like all these different things that a lot of us think are just absolutely essentials, bare necessities. A lot of it to a lot of people are luxuries. Even just your set of arms can be a luxury to some people. So you have to ask yourself if that's the case, what is my excuse? What is really stopping me from being all that I can be? What really is preventing me from doing whatever it takes to take my life, my business, my job, my career, my family, myself to the next level? You have to really stop and ask yourself that. And then once you figure out that you know, frankly, there isn't really an excuse, then that's the time where we take massive action. Because you have to understand, if you have one shot at this to get everything, to seize everything you ever wanted, you have to throw everything at it. You have to be dedicated. You have to stop at nothing to get at what you want. Sometimes you're going to have to go off of four hours, three hours, two hours of sleep. You might even forget to eat. Just to make sure that you do everything you're supposed to do. Because honestly, when it comes down to it, just like any boxer, especially Floyd Mayweather, which my big sister Tracy Walker talked about on Monday on a conference call recently. You got to be able to bet on yourself. Because if you don't bet on yourself, the world won't bet on you. And sometimes they'll bet against you. And so oftentimes you got to understand that if you got that one shot, that one round, you got to be able to say, you know what? I bet on me. I bet on me that I'm going to do whatever it takes to make it through this this situation for me to succeed, for me to go to the next level, for me to live more abundantly. You have to make that decision. And I, I promise you this. If you take the time 
to understand how blessed you really are and how much of an opportunity you have either right now or when you wake up tomorrow, the fact that you're still living ought to let you know I got one more shot and I'm not going to waste it. Because at the same time, there's so many people that would love to be in my shoes and I'm just not going to act like I don't appreciate this. And I'm going to use this to my advantage to be successful in whatever I'm doing. If this makes sense to you, I I hope it does. I hope you got some value from this. Once again, this is Philip Blackett from Live More Abundantly with Philip Blackett. Um, My wish for you is that you live more abundantly, realize your full potential, and pay it forward. And once again, this show has been brought to you by www.everydaygetmoney.com if you're looking for a way to make money online so you could take full advantage of the shot you have to make it to be successful to live more abundantly realize your full potential and pay it forward i invite you to work directly with me go to www.everydaygetmoney.com Thank you so much, everyone. Stay tuned for the next episode, which will come out tomorrow night. And I look forward to seeing you on the beaches of the world. Take care, everyone.